welcome to Tesla Info and today we're going to look at battery degradation taking the data we've collected from thousands of cars and thousands and thousands of data points. We'll add some bookmarks to the video so you can jump to the cars you're interested in and we're going to cover Model 3, Model Y, Model S, Model X and even some of the older cars later on in the video. It's worth noting that we've taken the data using the API and there are some issues with that in terms of absolute accuracy and whether the car BMS is calibrated or the cells are balanced. However, we feel that you know even though there might be some absolute accuracies on every single point, the trend is still valid and we can see sort of what's going on over time. So your battery is made up of lots and lots of cells and Tesla make bigger cells now than they used to or two different sizes, the Model S and Model X still use the older size. These are combined together to create modules and the modules are combined together to make a battery pack which sits generally in the floor of the car and in some cases is starting to become a, strict, a structural component of the car. The first battery we're going to look at is a Model 3 long range and part of the thing with Tesla is the battery has actually changed over the years including uh, by factory. So we're just going to focus on 2018 to start with. These batteries started with, uh, with uh, around 74 kilowatt hours as we can see and by 50,000 miles most of the cars are reporting on average a drop to about 69 kilowatt hours so that's around a 6.5% drop. By the time it's got to 100,000 miles, that drop has only gone down to uh, 67 kilowatt hours, so a 9.5 kilowatt hour drop. And a lot of people say that the car batteries actually lose most of their uh, degradation happens in the first part of its life. If we now take a look at cars built in 2020, um, we get pretty much exactly the same results. What we see is the batteries start around 74 kilowatt hours. By the time they've hit around 50,000 miles, it's dropped to 69 kilowatt hours. So the first chunk of the depreciation has occurred. And by the time it's hit 100,000 miles, it's lost a couple more kilowatt hours, but it's you know it's really started to level off as we can see. To 2022, however, we do start to see a diversion of the data. And there aren't thousands of data points here, so you know, up to a point we need to be mindful of what we're looking at. What we have, however, detected looking at this data is there seems to be two different cohorts of batteries, some which have depreciated more than others. Some have dropped to about 73, while others only dropped to 76 kilowatt hours. And by 100 kilo, 100,000 miles is down to 70 and 74. And when we go and start looking at the uh, models and where they've been built, it seems that the China built LG Chem batteries have only dropping, have only dropped about 6%, whereas the Fremont Panasonic batteries are down by 11%. We, can't, we find that quite a significant variation, certainly something that you know, deserves more looking into, really. If we switch to the standard range cars then we can see even more sort of like different cohorts of batteries uh, linked to different years so we're just going to start with the early 2019 batteries first now there's quite a wide scatter on the data points here quite a big range from car to car um, which is you know goes back to the point we made about you know the accuracy of using the data but what we actually see is after there's you know only a four percent drop in the battery capacity by fifty thousand miles, there's virtually no degradation that you can you can talk of. You know even cars up to one hundred twenty thousand miles are still, you know, recording forty four you know kilowatt hours, and certainly by one hundred thousand it's still up around the forty six kilowatt hour mark. If we now jump to a later year, so this time we're going to take a look at. 2021 um, again we see the two different co cohorts of data um, but actually both cohorts are reasonably good and uh, you know the 53 kilowatt ish ones tend to only drop to 51 by 50,000 miles the 57 to 56 and the the higher range is actually the introduction of the LFP batteries that we see um, initially from the China factory Either way, both these batteries seem to fare really well um, with pretty low degradation at 50,000 miles. So what we'll do now is we'll switch to 2022 and we'll take a look at what that data looks like. 
and it's pretty good. It tends to start around 60, 61. Um, it does drop about 5% to 58 kilowatt hours by 50,000 miles. We haven't got any data at 100,000 miles. Um, and even if we look at the 2023 batteries, so these cars have been worked pretty hard. Again, it's looking like it's losing about 5% initially, and then it seems to sort of like pretty much plateau at that sort of level um, going forwards. We, we've also gone and had a look at the performance models, and we've actually got the three and wide performance models here. And when you actually filter down and have a look at the individual year, um, we're seeing a massive spread in the um, the capacity of these batteries. We've put it the long range in the top right hand corner to to sort of compare, um, and it's um, it's really hard to draw any conclusions. That there was a six seven kilowatt hour spread between one car and another. Um, you know, if you go back to the 2020 values, which we're seeing here, uh, some are down as low as 62 kilowatt hours, some are up, still up at 72 kilowatt hours. That's a 10 kilowatt hour spread. What is probably worth noting about the performance batteries is that they use the same US batteries, usually the BT42 battery, which we saw earlier as being worse than the LG Chem batteries. We're now just going to have a quick look at the Model Y um, battery the long range to start with um, going back and filtering and comparing it with the model 3 long range and, and in reality we're getting very very similar results as you pretty much expect there doesn't seem to be anything about the the model Y long range which is causing to have significantly different results to the uh, model 3 equivalent um, which I think is probably good news Probably the most noticeable thing we can see is the fact on things like the 2022 model, the early degradation seems to be a little steeper initially or quicker than the Model 3 equivalent, um, but it seems to level off at the same level. Okay, we're now going to take a look at the Model S and Model X facelift from around 2021. And actually, that's not good. It's, overall, it's an 11% drop at 50,000 miles. If we split those results now between the long range and the played, um, we'll see the long range on the Model X at least. Um, it seems to be leveling off around 50, at 50,000 miles at around 90 kilowatt hours. Whereas if we switch to the played, uh, it seems to just keep going down. Um, you know, at 12% down at 50,000 miles, and even the ones at 60,000 miles. They're down to sort of 85 kilowatt hours. It's almost 15% down, which is a worry. That said, of course, it's worth remembering that these are pretty small data sets. You know, there aren't that many data points there. But, you know, you can see a definite trend that's, that's heading downwards. And it's probably a reflection on the harder life the battery has to do um, in a played car. We're now going to step back in time a little and look at the original Model S 85D. And for those who remember, this was the battery gate car. Um, and there seems to be two cohorts here. Um, there's some cars that still seem to hang on to 71 kilowatt hours of battery, which is actually pretty good because these only had 76, 77 to start with. And then there's a chunk that seems to be down to 61 kilowatt hours. Um, don't know whether this is battery gate, whether this is replacement batteries, who knows, but there seems to be a marked difference between two different uh, two different batteries going on here. The next battery we're going to have a look at is the 90D. And almost exactly the same thing's happening here. There are two cohorts of batteries. Um, a lot are holding on to the high capacity of 73 kilowatts. There's a bunch at 63 kilowatts. Um, now, the 90D was criticized originally for having a, a, you know, quite a fast early degradation. But, you know, at 50 or 100,000 miles, it's still holding on to, you know, a, a reasonable amount more battery capacity than the 85D, although not the 5 kilowatt hours you might expect from the naming convention. 2 kilowatt hours, that's what, 5, 6 miles. Um, it may make the difference between getting to your destination or not. I think there's not a lot to choose between the two, and we'd be buying on condition uh, on cars this old. Next, we're going to take a look at the 75D. Um, and this has been a quite a big seller for Tesla over the years, primarily because it seems to be a good price point. Um, and it's remarkably flat. 
I mean, it, it it's never hit 75 kilowatt hours. Um, it's always started around the 67, 68 kilowatt hour mark. Uh, and we can see some spurious, spurious data points up around the 85, which we, ex we presume are actually replacement batteries. Um, but otherwise, it is glacial, the uh, degradation on these batteries. Once it hits 50,000 miles, it's down to 67. At 100,000 miles, it seems to only have dropped to 66 kilowatt hours on average, which we think is a remarkable uh, feat, really, and a very usable battery um, for these cars. Finally, we're going to go back and have a look at the 100 pack batteries in the 100D and the P100D pre the big facelift in around 21. Um, and none of these seem to have reported battery capacity close to 100 kilowatt hours other than, you know, in very short bursts. And we think these are probably the replacement batteries um, which quickly degrade to around 92, 93 kilowatt hours, or at least they report that. And at 50,000 miles, they're leveling out at 90 kilowatt hours. And in fairness to them, they don't lose an awful lot more over the next 50,000 miles down to, you know, an average of 88 kilowatt hours. But they seem to be a long way off the, the close to 100 kilowatt hours that they were originally meant to have. And I think this just reinforces the general point about Tesla batteries most of the degradation and certainly the reported degradation using these sort of tools happens pretty early on and that may just be the way it's measured is part of that you know optimum temperatures and so on may mean they never really uh reveal their full capacity early, you know once they're installed in the car and out in the real world and then the degradation actually seems to level off quite a lot uh, later on the worst batteries seem to be the biggest batteries and in the most powerful cars. And so, you know, I think it's probably not rocket science to assume that those batteries are under more stress. And certainly, you know, if you're, if you're launching a played model at two seconds to 60, you can imagine that's putting quite a strain on the battery. And that seems to uh, be showing through in the numbers. Anyway, I hope that's been an interesting run through batteries and what seems to be happening to them. Um, Catch you next time.